signing out. Well, I think I knew about you. And I think I have to listen. Because the sun is up, it's a beautiful day. My beginning will be as bright as the sun. Come, won't you come along? And it feels so bright, it's like luck is raining on me. Go and follow your heart, doesn't matter how far. There is so much love to give, something's telling me this time. Baby, baby, now I know. Baby, baby, gotta go. There is so much love to give, something's telling me it's right. When you came to me, oh, I knew it's you, yeah, boy. Show me now and forever Know you'll never be alone again All day, oh yeah, all day Please stay in my arms, boy The one to show me you put together It don't matter if it rains All day, oh yeah, all day As long as you're in my arms, boy As long as you're in my arms, boy I saw the new intro on TikTok earlier, and I couldn't stop watching it. Oh, I love it. They gave me three-minute videos on TikTok. Then so much trouble. Well, I got the permissions a few weeks ago, but they didn't. Where you could just like you know how it has fifteen, sixty. Well, now mine goes fifteen, sixty, and three. Oh, well, mine doesn't do that, but I can upload. It will. It. it will. Yeah, they're like you can beta test this. I'm like, okay, watch this. I know why they do that. They want to see if you're gonna. They want to see if you're gonna pirate music, which the music I use for this stuff I own. <laughs> I love having copyright. So yeah, I made doll. I made doll cry this morning. Yeah, I was crying when it was a good was cry. Awesome. I was like, oh my god! I was so excited. Hey, look at it! Flip, high flip, high flip. There he is. There he is, right there. Walk at run, him. Run, run, run! <laughs> <laughs> so, hello, everybody. How's everybody doing out there? Welcome hello. to my crazy. I'm all over the place tonight. I don't know what my problem is. I'm having a weird day. I'm just having a weird day. I didn't want to do anything today. I'm like, bleh, bleh. It's okay. Some um, days are like that, and it's perfectly okay to have those days. It happens. It happens to all of us. I did get I did get cool things in the mail today. I got my, I got a waste basket that I, it's a wire. It's red, of course. Mm -hmm. It's red, and it's a wired like meshy one. Yeah. And I was gonna put S hooks in it and hang it off the pegboard that's on the side of my tool cart, which has all my makeup in it. Mm -hmm. You know, pretty smart, right? Yeah. The holes are too small. Oh, oh no. snit. So I'm thinking I'm going to use zip ties, but I have that, so that's cool. Cleanliness well, is you can always use those for something else as well. Yeah. And I got this in the mail today. So exciting! And I played Minecraft with it. Ooh. How was Now it? I know why you guys hate me so much in Minecraft. Yeah. <laughs> Well, at least like, now oh, you understand the frustration that I was probably I have. really annoying. You probably liked it when I went off on my own to do things. And yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, good. Was... You got rid of her. <laughs> <laughs> like, huh? Go, Vixie, I want you to chop these trees. What? Yeah, chop these trees. She only chopped trees for three days. That's all I did. And then she started yelling at me that I wasn't chopping them good enough. And I looked at her. And I said, excuse me, I'm doing exactly what you told me to do. And she said, I'm being a bitch, aren't I? I said, yes, yes, you are. She goes, I'm being a bitch. Said, no. <laughs> okay. I'm well. being a bitch, aren't I? Yep. All right. Well, I'm not doing <laughs> that now. So I just finished this scrappy cappy while we were in the green room. So I'm going to start. I'm going to um, start something in a second. I don't know what to start. So what are you doing? I'm knitting. What you knitting? Are you I'm, working on your washcloth still? Yeah, I'm doing the washcloth um yeah, washcloth set that I keep saying I want to do. I got halfway through this one. Now, I realize that uh I <laughs> I was supposed to do something in between to do what they call 
a stocking stitch, which mm -hmm. would make this middle part, if you can't, you can see that there is a perfect square <laughs> where <laughs> I have whatever. But instead of doing one, one row a certain way and then going back and doing the same thing, you're not supposed to do that, which I didn't know until that's today. So now I have an extra cloth. Hey. <laughs> it looks pretty cool because I mean, there is a defined square. It, there's a defined square there. It's not like I'm not doing it right. I'm just skipping a, spe a step. <laughs> so uh, it was supposed to be knit a row, then knit four purl and then knit four and then knit a row and then knit four purl and then knit four and then knit a row and then keep doing that. Oh, <laughs> but I did not do that. <laughs> You're doing it for a ridge. It's just a doing it's, ridge. It's just it's a one of a kind. Uh, you know, it's it's fine. Everything will be fine. It's fine. It's just it's a fine. learning experience here. I mean, we all make mistakes. We all do skip skip steps. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is why we learn. This is how we learn. <laughs> always said you learn through failure. And it, it, failure is not always necessarily a bad thing. Right. I mean, this actually turned out pretty cool. I, I'm not going to lie. I, I looked at um, Linda, who... She's, uh, she owns Northampton Mills over in Northampton. <laughs> um, and, uh, I was like, oh, <laughs> and I showed her what was, what I was doing. And I'm like, it's not doing the thing that I thought it was supposed to be doing. And she goes, yeah, because you're supposed to knit in between. And I'm like, oh, She's like, but you're doing it right. I mean, the way that the way that you thought I was, I said it, you, it, it would be right. And plus you've got to, you know, I'm like, that's okay. I retried this doing, I retried this like a couple of different times now. And I, I'm like, I, I, I'll just finish this off and then, and then I'll do another one. And it will just be one of those things. Hey, Dakota, how you doing, honey? Hi, Hi Dakota. Dakota. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, so if any of you all out there, yeah, I, I mine. It's something I do. I was trying to find charcoal so I could make more torches to scare things away. And let me tell Digging you. Digging hobbit holes again, guys. Sorry. Charcoal was very, very hard to find. Yeah. Not happy about that. Yeah. Lots and lots and lots of iron, but not very much coal. It's weird, but I found lava, but lots and lots of lakes of lava. Hubby asked me if I found it the hard way or the easy way. I said, which means which? I didn't die, if that's what you're asking me. The only time I died, I almost died of hunger because I couldn't remember how to eat. Right. I've yet to play the game, so. Chief Petty Officer Jimmy reporting for duty. <gasps> Hi, Hi, Jimmy. Jimmy. It's a pretty big duty, Jimmy. Hi, Jimmy. Jerry, do you have a computer? Do I? No, I don't own a computer. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, if you have a computer, well, you can do it from your lap, from your tablet. But let me tell you, I've not met one person who enjoys playing that game on on a tablet. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> likes one. it. How oh you even God. tried it on the Kindle? Because you can play it on the Kindle. Oh, yeah, you can that. play it on the Switch, but I don't know if they have if you can realm on that or not. I, no I don't idea. know how that works. I'll they do have it, it for the Switch, though. I know I can buy it for my phone, but I don't want to buy it. <laughs> I have bought it on everything. She has. She bought it for me. Uh, one of them she bought. I can't remember which one. I think it was Bedrock. She's like, you're getting on better off now. <laughs> I'm like, okay. We were playing this, and she's like, oh, now I understand. And I'm like, I knew. I knew you would love this. This this will well, satisfy your needs. I if I don't have coal. It satisfies all the needs that Vixie has. Organiz organization, artistic. Yeah, I made, I made more. Yeah, th this, this cute little Dakota had one little chest in the room. 
<laughs> no. <laughs> so there's two more chests with signs now. <laughs> Oh, I man. see what you mean. You put the logs in the furnace instead of charcoal. Mm-hmm. I forgot about that. Doll told me that once. I very rarely have to do that. But what I was actually looking to do was make um, torches. Because there's a lot of bad guys out there. Oh, my goodness. And the skeletons throw stuff at you. They're skeletons? And yeah, yeah they bow and have... arrows and they shoot you dead. Yeah. And there's zombies that try to eat oh, your face. Rude. I killed a zombie with my bare hand. Which you zombie killed that someone. one. Killed it dead. Swear to God. <laughs> I got rotten flesh and a carrot for it, too. Was it a cave carrot? No, just regular carrot. Oh. <laughs> I taught Vixie and Doll everything about Minecraft. Doll actually knew how to play Minecraft. But you did teach me about bees, Dakota. I have to say you did. I want bees still. I have tons of bees on the Java build. <laughs> the, whole, the whole center of my town that I built has beehives and flowers everywhere. <laughs> It's just everywhere. I did that for doll too. That was not for me. That was for doll. I love bees. I did. I went and I lassoed bees. Cherry. Lassoed I did, bees. I, I, I went and took a lasso and lassoed bees and brought them back home with me. Bees on the lasso? That's adorable. That's pretty cool. Like, look what I done did. I used to love bees because. Like, I'm allergic. Oh, my grandpa had bees. Sometimes what you can do is get a banker's check. Usually if you don't have a, if with a withdrawal level, they'll give you, they'll issue you a banker's check if you have the money to cover it. And then the dealership will take, or the place that you're going to buy it will take, the, it's a cashier's check. Yeah. I don't think they call them that anymore. I think they call them banker's checks now or bank checks. Um, and that's usually how that works. Because let me tell you, we You're don't have... You're talking about a money order? No. It's different from a money order. A bank Very order? Very different from a money order. No. They used to be called cashier checks, but now they're called yes. bank checks. Yeah. It's when you have a lot of money in the bank, but you can't pull it out all at one time. But you have a purchase you want to make and you don't want to do a loan. So you, go to, you have to go to the bank and give them your ID and say... Okay, then you need to call them and ask them because they might be able to issue one over the internet. We have every branch here in Florida. Well, it's because of the Space Center. They have yeah. every, every military branch is down here. And I forget that they're not in every state anymore. They used to be. Oh, I take that back. We don't have Coast Guard down here. Coast Guard's mostly up north. So I had a challenge put, presented to me this week mm -hmm. for an order. And have you guys seen the, uh, they call them the uh, emo octopuses, the ones that they're reversible. So one side is happy and one side is mad. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I love this hat. I want one. Uh -huh. I turned it into a beanie because it's just weird. There, there's this the mad side. Oh. Okay. I'm oh, gonna yeah. sew the tentacles across the bottom. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you, Cherry, you should just send them to me so I can sell them in dollhouse. Yeah. Well, okay, here's my idea. And if you decide to do the this, eyes you like send... night that you can see them. You, need to... <laughs> you need to send them to her if you do this. On the happy side, you need to make little horns. <laughs> and on on the sad side, little droopy ears. Well, the problem being is it, it, it would squish your head. No, I don't have to make them thin. You make them thin. Or I can but, make them and send, or you could send the caps to doll. I'll send the ears and horns and she can put it together. 
Okay, we could do that. I mean, or you okay could embroider them in and there. And all three of us would have made the hat. That would be I love the concept. <laughs> I just have to be real careful work, about man. what yarn I use <laughs> in the uh, circular machine because it does not like red heart. Yeah, I noticed. It likes everything else, but, and, and you're supposed to use three weight yarn in it because <laughs> I read the instructions. Oh, that's why. Red Heart oh, is no, no, no. majorly worth your weight. weight. Just don't do like I did on my first one and attach a drill attachment to it and then a drill to the attachment. <laughs> You'll kill it. You'll kill it. It, it done broke. Well, I got it back in semi-working order, so I'm going to use the, the old one for parts and the new one is for actual orders. Um, now, mind you, these things were actually made to be children's toys, and there are mm -hmm. adults like myself that are out there using them to make products with. I still have, when I was a kid, mm -hmm. okay, I hate, okay, let's start with this. I have one. I hate knitting eye cords. Have I you have an eye cord maker. Like, you have to use double-ended needles, to, and my hands hurt. All right. When no, I, was I have an eye cord up, maker. <laughs> when I was growing up, my great grandfather would take wooden spools and put four nails in it and we would wrap yarn yeah. or string actually around it and take needles and pull it over. Mm -hmm. And when I started making this eye cord with these stupid double needles, I'm looking at it going, no. Mm -mm. There's such so, an easier way to do this. <laughs> the eye cord maker that I have is, is essentially the same thing. It just looks like a very, very smaller version of um, a circular knitting machine. And um, I have I a... Show you. I, I have an antique one, actually, that I found that I love. I have uh, two 48-pin machines um, because Frankenstein, the, the, the parts piece. And then the one that I ordered after I broke Frankenstein. And then I have a 40-pin from um, Michael's. And it mm -hmm. does okay. Um, I also have a flatbed knitting machine that I bought off of Carrie Crafts again that I really, really need to sit down and watch the DVD for because I actually want to start using that as well. Right. Um, oh, because yeah. she has the old antique uh, vintage um, flatbed knitting machines that were made for home use, not for industrial use. Mm -hmm. um, and eventually that, that, that might be something else that it's got, you play with yarn, I want to play with it. Right. Uh, have you tried, have either of you tried tatting yet? No. What? I don't have the patience. Tatting? Tatting is use basically cotton string. Mm hmm And there's a little, it's a little metal device called a shuttle. It's about this big and it's shaped kind of like an eyeball, an eye. Like if you drew an eye that comes to a point, but it's very round in the middle. Mm -hmm. And you load up the spindle in it with your thread. And basically, you use it to make like Irish lace. Mm -hmm. They're really delicate. Never, never I've only found two or three people on social media that actually do it, and it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. I do. Yeah, I can't do it patience. anymore. My hands won't let me do it. But there is one thing that I think I'm going to actually do. Since we started doing this, I think I'm going to make my own cards for card weaving. I'm going to take a deck of cards and make my own. I don't like any of the ones that they have for sale and they cost way too much money. Right. So I've got to get a how-to guide and um, I'm going to start to so I can do uh, card weaving. With card weaving you can do all kinds of neat stuff. Mm -hmm. The jewelry out of that is amazingly cool. Yeah. So it took me forever to figure out how to increase a circle without having wibble wobbles. My bow is just not cooperating today. No? Thank you, buddy. Get back there. Thank you. It's hey, you and me, moth, hand to hand to hand to foot. So next week, guys, we do have a pattern that all three of us are going to do. Yeah! It's linked in the description below. I'm super excited about it. Um, 
Twisted Hatter. Yes. Mm-hmm. Well, the Twister Hatter. The Twisted Hatter. And it's... Um, I would show you a picture, but we can't show pictures. Wasteland right. av- Aviator Hat by the Twisted Hatter. Um, the link is in the description below. It's $7 to download it if you want to uh, have your own or you want to check out and at least see what it looks like. Um, and we're going to be starting those next week. Yes. I am going to make one in the Red Heart Cafe all day. And I'll probably I, be using a uh, brown acrylic paint for smudging it. I haven't figured out which which yarn I want to make it out of. Because I've got... I, when I test patterns, I use Red Heart. <laughs> well, and no, no, no. And then Don't I figure out what kind I of stuff I want to use after that. <laughs> I have a buttload of Red Heart. But I have to go through my my cubes to see what I have an abundance of. Yeah, a lot of times I just grab whatever I can find. But this one I did have a color in mind, so I did buy some new stuff. Oh, I but one uh... cheap and two. Um, after I do the first one, I'll, I can see if I want to go up the gate, if I want to go up or down a hook right. size, if I want to. Go up and down um, a weight. Sometimes I'll want to take it down to like a sock weight or something like that. Depending on what I want. Hello, Mel. Hi, Hi, Mel. Mel. So, yeah. Also in the description below is a link to um, KendraLash.com. That's our friend Kendra. She does wearable art. If you've seen our big pink kitty earrings, those glow in the dark and are UV sensitive. Mm-hmm. They're huge. If you've seen them, you've seen them. You know what, what I'm talking about. Doll and I both. They're adorable. Doll has a little necklace by Kendra. It's a little blue baby. And I do. The metal that says moist. Hey, it's what it says. I know. It, just gives, uh, it gives me a, a reason to say it. Moist. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's so funny because I don't understand people and wor- reacting to words it's like just that. It's a just a disgusting word. Just bother me. Yeah. Words don't bother me. I knew a guy who couldn't deal with the word vagina. So There's... I pinned him against the wall and said it like 150 times in his face. Like this close. Like this close. He At got one point in it. time, there was a group of people that I worked with, and they would continually say it until it finally the effect wore off. And then I ended up moving across the country, and, uh, and apparently that down. effect came right back. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I became very sensitive to it again. It still bothers yeah. some of us. I I don't know why I don't I don't have I've never had a word like that. Okay, so for me, it's. I hear the word, and all I can think is being stuck in a very wet, disgusting, moldy cave type place. Oh, geez. See, you guys have terrible, like, association. Maybe you need different associations. Oh. The minute I hear moist, I hear Pillsbury. Moist and delicious cake. No. I think of... Well, you guys have to remember I'm older than you. I have different commercials to lean on. (laughs) But I also, yeah, there, there's a lot that I, I have issues with, like sensory. Oh, Jesus. I did not realize how many sensory issues I have. Oh, I have sensory issues. I'll completely crack those. I have sensory issues, but not words. There's certain sounds I can't do. Like, oh, I, yeah. I have really I don't bad like misophonia to where I can't listen to people eat. Because if they chew with their mouth open, oh my god! Hi, Mel. Hi, Mel. Hi, Mel. It's Mel, everybody. Mel. I don't enjoy Mel. ASMR. I know a lot of people do. People have asked me to do it. Yeah. But it's not the talking. It's not the talking ASMR that doesn't bother me. That's it's fine. It's the crunching. Like when they put slime on the mic oh. and it pops. I'm like that's just annoying. It's, it doesn't really gross me out. It just annoys me. It makes me uncomfortable. Um, yes, Cherry. <laughs> I know Mel cannot tolerate chewing. Period. No. 
I mute myself in the morning shows. That's, that's why I don't shoot oh, gum. No. That's she... and like it gets to the extent of like I even catch myself clicking my nails and I'm like, oh I gotta stop. Oh, that's gonna drive me nuts. Oh, no. I hate that. Last night I had or was it last night one? or the night before? I do that and I don't even realize it half the time. And I was like, Yeah, she's and I'm like, like sorry. <laughs> fucking stop. I think it was last night or the night before. I, I I was like, I have pickles and I don't want to eat them in your ear. <laughs> I I think I'm at I, at one point I didn't mute myself so I can finish eating. Them. <laughs> so I was like, oh no, I don't want to do this inside. And I can't have a clicky pen. I'm not allowed to have clicky pens. Ooh, me either. Me either. So I have this kind of pen where I can take the cap off and push it back on. It doesn't make any noise. So that's this is one of my fidget widgets. I just do this all the time. I don't have a fidget spinner. I have um, a I cube. It's a fidget cube. cube. There's two of those on my wish list. If anybody wants to wants to see one of those, we have one around here somewhere, but I want the black and red one. And the funny thing is, is I can't stand the clicky parts of it, but it's got a, a worry stone on it. Yeah. And it, I like, ours has a joystick on it. Mm-hmm. One it's of got. You can push the, the joystick down and it'll click, mm -hmm. by the way. Did not realize that till I did it. But the worry stone, I will sit there legs, and though. just rub on it. Because I'll, I'll make Mel mad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I am terrible with clicky pens. I can't help it. Oh, uh, my gosh. I used to get them taken away at school. They're like, you can't. You, Bix. You're only allowed to have Bix. <laughs> you don't get clicky pens. Because everything had to be in ink. By the time I got in high school, everything had to be blue or black ink. Period. End of story. Except for math. You could do math was in pencil. No, they don't even use pens. I'm like, why am I buying pens for school if he's not going to use them? They don't use any kind of... They mostly... Everything's on tablets now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're on And they can use any here. color pen they want most of the time now, too. Yeah. Like, yeah. If, I had, if I had turned anything in in a color... Other than oh, blue and no, black, no, oh, yeah. my ass would be handed to me with an F. Yes. There would be no way. Oh, by the by, if you ever do, if you've ever done a crochet where you have a simple disc like this, like the top yes. of a hat, this in cotton makes some of the best face pads you'll ever use. Completely washable in hot water, bleachable. Because cotton is bleachable. And you can make them in like, you know, less than a couple minutes. So if you run out, I do have reams of cotton in my house just in case. <laughs> For that the reason, only cotton I've ever messed with, it was a texture thing. I couldn't do it. Like, was I it mean, peaches I can. and cream? I, uh, it's hard with peaches and cream. I mean, I have some and I'll use it. But it's just, I don't know what it is. Oh, there's a lot of people who don't like the texture of Red Heart because it's yeah. more aggressive. Um, I've gotten to the point where I've started to notice it's a little bit more scratchy and aggressive. Caron, I'm not so bad with um, the Mandala that Lionheart or Lion Brand does. Lionheart. Oh, the fuck? Lion Brand is nice. Period. Yes, there. I love it. I um, love it. Uh, there are things that, that I do need cotton yarn. Is it for, Mainstays though. that does the soft? It's almost silky. You have to be careful. Mainstay, though. this is mainstay right here, and I'll buy that faster than I will Red Heart anymore because it is a lot yeah. less hey, aggressive. Vicky. Hey, I do Vicky. like it, but the price difference is palatable. Yes. For me. I'm I'm a cheapskate. It depends on what I'm making. Okay, here's what it comes down to. If I'm making a hat, like a winter hat, mm -hmm. Red Heart is great. Especially yes. if you can't use wool because it is thick and it's wearable. And the newer Red Heart is really nice. I've worked with Antique Red Heart and that stuff sucks raw. Oh, I have Antique Red Heart. Let me tell you. Ugh. But if you use the Antique Red Heart for like the outside of a mitten and the regular, the soft stuff for the inside of the mitten, those are going to be some warm freaking mittens. Yes. And I've also started playing with Bernat, the chunky yarn. I love, mm, I love Bernat. It's got like a spongy texture to it almost. I love Bernat. I almost made a cloak out of that. Oh, that would have been heavy. 
Yeah, it was for Michigan. It was perfectly fine. But I didn't do it. Um, I, I did have a whole bunch that was gifted to me because a friend of mine was into crocheting and mm-hmm. she got a whole bunch for this pattern. Yeah. This like one of those mystery patterns, you know? Mm-hmm. And after the third week, she's like, I hate this. Like, what are you going to do with it? And she goes, it's all yours. And I'm like, you're going to make yeah, a give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. blanket. That is a lot of yarn. So a lot. So uh, I did a corner to corner with it mm-hmm. and made it about twin size. Mm-hmm. No, it was a double. I don't okay. remember. Anyway, maybe it was queen. It wasn't king size. I remember that. But the half to that, my eldest, it's like a weighted blanket. It's so heavy. It really is. Um, I've got half of my king done. Justin has decided he doesn't want me to make it a full king. He just wants to. He just wants it to be two twins because we're going to fight over it because I'm already <laughs> using my half of it. And anytime he gets near it in my sleep, I start growling at him. <laughs> it's mine. And it's it's heavy enough to where it's almost like a weighted blanket. It probably weighs a good three or four pounds. Yeah. Um, and... Don't, I, really don't get me wrong. Yes, it's hot. And it. I get sweaty, but damn it, I love the damn thing. Now, I got a, a blanket from Amazon, and I, mm-hmm. I got it's like a tomato soup red. That's what Hubby calls it. I have okay. the cherry red one on my wish list, and I really like it because I'd like to give the tomato soup red one to Hubby. It's king size, and I still want it all for myself. Oh, no, don't get me wrong. When Justin's home, I know we use comforters sure. on the bed. During the summer, he doesn't he doesn't really sleep with blankets anytime he's home. He's, he uses them on the mm-hmm. truck, but he won't be here for some reason. He'll put it on, and then five minutes after he's asleep, it's on. We have a king-size yeah. comforter, and we have a queen-size comforter. The king-size comforter is mine. <laughs> uh, the queen-size is his. And we literally fold them in half on each side of the bed. And then when I get in bed and like if we're if he's here, I completely unravel my and I just burrito it. 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 What are you doing? I'm de burritoing it. (laughs) Where are where are where's Cherry? She's in her burrito. It's fine. Don't worry about it. And a lot of times, I like to cuddle. Yes. And before hubby, I was always the big spoon, and now I'm the little spoon, and I like that better, I think. So with mine being gone as often as he is, um, I have come to building, and I do it in my sleep, because I don't do this when I'm awake. (laughs) I have, like, two pillows for my head, and then I have a row of pillows on each side of me so that way mm-hmm. when I roll, it feels like there's a body there. <laughs> yes. I fall out of bed. I don't. That's how violent a sleeper I am. I fall My out teenager bed. falls out of bed all the time. All you hear is a giant thunk. If I'm having a night terror, I will fall out of bed. The last time I fell out of bed, it was a little scary. I wasn't sure I was going to be able to like... I thought we were going to call. have to call an ambulance at first because it hurt. Because oh. my, he- my head went right into my hope chest. Ouch! And I felt nauseated. <laughs> and you I can thought, trust yourself. if I stand up too quick, I'm going to throw up. This is bad. <laughs> and I'm one of those people who are like, don't touch me when I fall down. Just let me get up. Don't she touch me. She's hungry. Uh, Mel gets violent when anybody touches her covers, and she can <laughs> cuddle for a few minutes, then she's done. <laughs> I start up. sweating. I'm. <sighs> I'm like, I'm cold all the time, except for when I get in bed, and then I'm the human freaking heater. I am. Mm-hmm. I shed heat like crazy. That's why most I people su- like to do I that. suction cup myself to people. <laughs> so does he. Justin does the same thing. It doesn't and matter how hot I am. If he's home, he's like, come here. And I'm like, but I'm so not used to you being here. That it's like, <laughs> no, why I are you touching me? No, I I suction cup myself to people and then I fall asleep. And then either I hold on really tight to you and you have to stay there or I throw you away. (laughs) Get away from me. I'm done with you. Hubby likes, like, he'll he'll put his hand on my back and do this, which is nice. 
Yeah. Until he slows down. And I'm like, I'm going to break your fingers. I so, love you. Stop. It tickles. And I hate being tickled. This like, is going to sound horrible. When Justin terrible. goes on the truck with the teenager, they have to sleep opposites. Okay, mm -hmm. so one has his head at his feet, and it's quite yeah. it's, uh, because he doesn't have a bunk in his trunk or in it. All he's got is trunk. a single bunk. He doesn't have the duels. Mm -hmm. uh, but <laughs> the first summer that the teenager came home, he was like, um, "Apparently, Dad's really used to sleeping with you." And I was like, "Oh yeah." He's like, "Yeah." He was rubbing my feet while I was asleep. I was like, "Yeah, your dad has this thing about touching me when he's asleep." I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and the kid has super long legs, so he's safe. Like, he's completely <laughs> safe. Dad's not going to do anything wrong. Uh, but Justin, when he's here, um, it, for a long time, when he would come home, he would have to touch me while he was sleeping to make sure I was still there. Uh, <laughs> for some reason. I was like, you, you don't need to fear me abandoning anybody. Mm -hmm. I'm the one with the but uh, now it's it's not as intense, but he will still roll over in the middle of the night and like he'll just like start rubbing. And I'm like, oh, that's nice. And then he quits. And I'm like, fucker. Wait. <laughs> right. Come back. <laughs> Wait. You started it. <laughs> well. Yeah, I do stuff like that. And we used to be real big about the whole cuddling thing while we were going to sleep when he was home full time. Um, and then when he got on the truck um, and he started coming home, it, it, it progressively died down a little bit just because he, I can't stand the snoring. Mm. That's why I'm up at night when he's home is because of his damn, he won't use a CPAP and it drives me right. insane. So I have to yell at him. And then I'll start using it, and then I cuddle up to him. And then he stops using it, and then I roll over. <laughs> but Most so when we did the dollhouse. People in my family, week, they start out in the same bedroom, and once all the kids are gone, they have their own bedrooms. Yes. My grandparents on my father's side had their own apartments. See, my mama and my papa had their own They bedrooms. lived next door to each other. <laughs> And growing up, I always thought that everybody's man, mom, and papa slept in separate separate bedrooms. I didn't know. Uh -huh. Me Wait, too. I don't understand. What were they? My great grandparents. Just, did they just not love each other anymore? Or? Most of the time, my grandparents had been threatening or... to divorce each other since after they, the day after they got married. Okay. And now divorce wasn't it. happening then. This was the silent generation. This is right. depression. Era. They loved each other very, very much. However, they could not stand each other. <laughs> oh, yeah. First, it I was think... they were going to get divorced after they got married. And then it was they were going to get divorced after my dad was born. And then they, my mom got pregnant again and again. And then they were going to wait until... So they couldn't all... stop touching each other, obviously. <laughs> right, right. So then it was... Um, they were going to wait until the youngest graduated and then I was born and then they were like, well, we'll just wait. And by the time that it came Thank around you. to it, Papa passed away and about four or five years later, Mama had passed. So I think they were just ornery and they loved each other. I mean, I think my grandmother suffered from night terrors and I know she had anxiety because yeah. she would get sick headaches. I'm sorry. I have a sick headache. I need to go lay down. With with Mamaw and Peppa, I honestly believe group. that Peppa had PTSD because he was uh, he was in um, the Korean War, and we had video footage of it that my dad had for years that we saw him on video from the Korean War. And I think that, that had to do with a lot of the reasons why Mamaw and Peppa didn't sleep in the same bedroom. Okay. Now, if they went out of town and they had stayed in a motel or they were staying at somebody's house, yes, they would sleep in the same bedroom. But if they were at home. They had their own bedrooms. Same. Same with my great grandparents. Now my parents divorced when I was nine, so that doesn't help. But my mom and her step and my stepdad sleep in separate rooms now. My mom says he moves too much. So he moves too much to drive me crazy. You get your own room. I'm like, that's, that's why Justin has do? a truck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, get back on your truck. Get back in your truck. But last week when we did Dollhouse, um, 
it was so funny because he was still asleep when, when or right before I come on and he got up and he was I says I can go out to the living room if you want me to and he was like no I want to I'm gonna go sleep in the recliner because he loves his recliners I don't understand what it is about men in recliners I like recliners but, so I can breathe well in them it's probably him too if he's on the pap probably he's breathing so legitimately he grabbed his blanket and he oh. just toddled off to the living room and when we were done I went out there and he was still sleeping in the recliner <laughs> I said okay buddy you do you <laughs> however tomorrow I'm not sure if I'm going to make the makeup table by the way okay um, he asked me if I wanted to go on the truck with him because he's got to drop a trailer and pick up his next load so I said I would go more than likely, I'm going to look at him tonight and be like, look, are you going to be home by three o'clock? Am I going to be home by like three o'clock? <laughs> Am I going to be home by a good, goodly time? I mean, I could do it from the truck. That would be pretty entertaining. <laughs> it would, actually. Depend on the background, myself. <laughs> Sometimes it's okay, sometimes it's not so okay. Oh no, he's got a really, really quiet truck. Like, he doesn't have stacks on his truck. Um, mm -hmm. And the Jake brakes are super quiet. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's it's the newer Volvos and uh, he drives a newer Freightliner. Okay. Um, they've just they've gotten them real quiet because there's a lot of states that have noise ordinances. Yep. Like Colorado, you have to have um, a certain size stack if you're going to go into Colorado because you're, if your Jake brakes are too loud, it's considered a noise violation. Wow. I believe California, you can't, it's it's all up and down the West Coast. You can't blow your big horn. Mm -hmm. And there's certain states more inward that are doing the same thing because people, like when they hear the big horn, uh, they freak out because they think that they're being that the, the mm -hmm. driver is is blowing the big horn at them when it could be somebody else, and it's caused people to actually have like panic Accidents. attacks and heart attacks and strokes while driving. Wow, which is sad. Yeah, because I love hearing a big horn. That's like my favorite thing. That and Jake breaks. My mom says family truckers. So we we call the and Jake breaks a trucker mating call. Say that again? We call the Jake Brakes a trucker mating call? Yeah, I can totally see that. Now, I used to haul, um, I didn't have a big truck. We just had a a diesel 4x4, but we held, we we would haul cattle and stuff. Mm hmm Cattle is sales. really, really finicky. Like, once you get them up for transportation, you cannot stop until you get to where you're going. Because those cattle start shrinking and dying if you don't. Because you can't feed them when you're on the road. Well, that's we never did more than a day haul. Right. Because because of that. I couldn't. I'd feel there bad. There had been plenty of times where uh, when my mom uh, was on the road with her husband, um, they hauled cattle. Yeah. She got her CDL because she got sick and tired of being stuck at home for seven months out of the year. Yeah. So she decided she was going to get her CDL and she was going to go on the road. A lot of couples like that, I actually. Do. Yes, yes, yes. Um, but she decided she was going to go on the road with her husband. And at that point, she was one of the only female uh, cattle haulers that I knew about. Mm -hmm. um, but there were more, more calvings where heifers had babies while they were on board. My mom's like, what am I supposed to do with this? Find a well, farmer. The farmer should have put that. The farmer should have put that cow on on the. Well, most of what they carried when when she was running was she didn't do dairy cows. She did kill cows. So she right. was the one who took them steers. to the slaughter plant. Those are usually steers. Oh no, there were plenty of heifers that they hauled too. Oh really? We didn't sell yeah. any heifers. Oh yeah. Um, I must have been on like the nicest farm ever. I hear all these stories. I'm you like, lived on a no-kill farm, didn't you? What? You lived on a no-kill farm, didn't you? 
No, we can't. We we slaughtered steers and pigs and chickens and stuff, but we would never slaughter a cow, especially if it was pregnant. Hell no. Well, no. Just, typically, okay. So you take a kill cow into a plant and it's pregnant. They're gonna put the cow out to pasture till it has its, its till it calves. Its calf, and then they're gonna let it nurse it until it's weaned, and and then they're gonna go ahead and slaughter the cow. Um, and then they're gonna either raise the calf to slaughter, or they're going to sell the, the calf off. Yeah. Um, well, that's just weird because the girl meat isn't as good as the boy meat. Just so y'all know, it, it's very <laughs> true. That is very true. Um, Justin's uh, family used to own a uh, they owned a butcher shop, and they actually owned a kill plant too, to where. Mm -hmm. um, they would go, they would buy the, the animals, they would process mm. the animals, and then they would sell it. Um, and before his stepdad passed away, um, they sold the business off to another family member. Um, and I actually got to experience going in there for the first time since I've been here. And it was really neat. Um, and every time we get near one of the plants that the family owns, Justin's like, oh, there's that plant. Oh, there's this plant. Oh, this is where we buy it. They bought the cattle from, or they bought the pigs from, or whatever they were buying. Mm -hmm. It was really neat. Um, and every time we talk about going hunting, Justin's mom just gets so excited because she thinks that she's going to be the one to process the deer. And I'm like, no, honey, I can do that. It's okay. Oh, I wasn't allowed to go hunting until I could shoot from 30 feet. And I'm talking bow. I didn't shoot. I never hunt with a gun. I haven't. I can. I just yeah. never did because I didn't have to. Because um, I usually got my buck with the bow. <laughs> my father, on the other hand, he sucks. But... <laughs> Oh, uh, when your nine-year-old brings the 14 buck home and you have nothing. Yeah, when you bring a 14 point home. Uh, yeah, wakes up <laughs> I'm a little girl and I'm like, I done did it all by myself. And I had to field dress it too because it was my first. Well, yeah. Because you don't want the blood to spoil. You're, You're doing what? No? what? She's going to the urologist. Get rid of those kidneys. Oh, right. Okay. I'm good. sorry, Mel. I hope they pass quickly. Few of them have not. Some of them in really. I don't mean. understand recliners, honestly, Jimmy. They just. They, I, I'm a couch girl. Well, since, I like since a couch. he said he uses a path, it's probably because of his breathing. That recliners give you a perfect. Oh no 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 no! He legitimately, when he sleeps in recliners, he will lay it as far back as he possibly can. He's weird. Oh, that's just weird. You're yeah, a weird bird, Tucker. We love you, but you're a weird bird. <laughs> You're a weird bird. Sorry, like, I'm such a weirdo, and I'm like, I know. They'll tell me, why do you love me? Because you put up with my crazy. It's true. It's just all true. So yeah, if any of you do see the hats that we we are putting together, if I hear an outpouring of people wanting them, I'm going on the back of the hat is a tag. It says Wasteland. But I'm going to make ones that say um, Vixie Squad, Planet Flipside, and if Doll wants me to, I'll make some Dollhouse ones. Too. Yes, I do. And and then if there if there is a want for them, I will send them to Doll and she will put them in the Doll's House. <laughs> Cherry said, I'm not making that. And I said, you should put bomb pops on there. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to figure out how to do bomb pops on the back of it. Um, and these two were trying to convince me to make up a bunch of these these emo, the, the octopus the beanies. Mm -hmm. We'll see yeah, how much like time I can come up with. I love that. Those hats are cute. For everybody who didn't get to see it, I'll show you. If everybody's seen the uh, emo octopuses, which are the ones that are reversible, they have a happy face on one side and they have now. a sad face on the other. Mm -hmm. I was challenged to make it into a beanie. I still have to put the tentacles on, but this is this is the mad side. This mad. It's mad side. Mm -hmm. And then this I got excited about because I made I made an octopus and I have the red safety eyes and uh, the person who ordered it was like. I was like, well, look, we have an option. We can either do hearts or red safety eyes. And the red safety eyes looked creepy to me. Mm -hmm. But they wanted them so they can have them. But uh, the person who ordered the beanie wanted the hearts. So that 
It's got happy hard eyes. It's like it's an anime. Hard eyes and a little, a little crooked smile. <laughs> Mel says, that's awesome, Cherry. Thank you, thank Isn't that you. Cute? I can literally turn almost anything into a beanie. It's, it's, it's like a thing. Oh, yeah. Well, my friend, when I was making them, my friend said, can you make one for me that's like a monster eating my head? I'm like, sure. I, sh I think I showed doll that pattern. Well, it started with uh, Red Heart has a um, they have a pattern, and I always want to call them recipes, and we've been over this. It's the same um, thing. Yes. Um, it's called the Cosmo Beanie, or Cosmo Scarf. I'm sorry, the Cosmo Scarf. And it's like a seven foot long scarf. And right. I sat there and I looked at the pattern, and I was like, hmm. So I started making the scarf and then I started wrapping it around my head and I found a point where the two points matched and I just sewed it up. And that's <laughs> basically how most of my beanies that I crochet are done. Unless I, you know, get on my circular knitting machine and mm -hmm. just cheat. I don't think it's but cheat. I don't think it's either. I think it's a time saver, honestly. It is. Oh, what I was saying about the i cord thing was so what I use is technically a child's toy mm -hmm. that they would give us when we were young while everyone else was doing the knitting stuff, the knitting and the crocheting, we would do, it's called thimble weave. It's called, not thimble, spool weaving is what my mother always called it. And I guess it's a big thing in Germany because I have this one from Germany that's an antique and I would show you except I'm not quite sure where it is right now. It's red. It looks like a mushroom. And it does, and it's got stuff painted on it, and it's got these little horseshoe type nails in it, mm -hmm. which I'm not quite used to. I'm used to little finishing nails that have no. So there's just these little, and it was tiny. We had it tiny. It would take the little thing and flip it over, and oh my gosh, I can't even do that anymore. My hands aren't small enough anymore. I'm like, no wonder they have the kids do it, because we would use basically it was almost like sewing thread that we were using. So the mm -hmm. circular knitting machine that I have is actually considered a child's toy. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, yeah. And I've got to the extent where I want to buy, there's a brand out there called Addy, and they make amazing products. Mm -hmm. And I want to get an Addy knitting, a circular knitting machine. However, because of TikTok and the popularity of said machines... They're the cheapest one I could find was $350 on eBay. And I said, no. <laughs> I do have some looms. I might need to send those to you. I have a couple of looms. Um, and I saw a hack on TikTok dealing with a pen in a loom that I need to try. Because otherwise, I hate, 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 hate. I just looms. don't use them. So I should probably send them to Dawn and see if she wants to or if she finds somebody who wants to. I have I'm a whole sure bunch there's of always somebody in the craft. Big to small. It's the same idea as the spool weaving. It's just big, different sizes. And it's not as, I don't, the other thing is, for me, it's cumbersome. I can't figure out, because it's just this hoop with pegs on it, so I can't figure out a technique of holding it, which will make it go at a good speed. I feel very encumbered. Like it needs to have a holder or something. I just like, have the, the basic ones you can buy from like Walmart, Joann's, Michael's. Hobby it's a Lobby. circle with pegs on it, right? Yes. Yes. It yeah, comes in multiple cool. sizes. They have different shaped ones now. And I'm like, okay. Don't think I need that. But I think what, what's needed are some like legs that you can slip on to them. Yes. To make them stable. Like well, if it was okay. a tabletop, so, it would make it a lot easier. With the circular machines, um, the ones that I have are, they're off brand. Um, but they have suction cups on the bottom of the feet that you can mm -hmm. detach or attach. And the only surface that they're really good on, unless you make a customized table to hold this thing down where you can drill it into the, the table. Right. Uh, is... Uh, a glass top table. That makes sense. But the problem being is as you're as you're working with it, it moves. 
So you have to be able to hold it still. Hence why people are now building stands for these things that you can drill them into. Mm. Um, yeah, no, I, I just, a I clamp. literally. Oh, no, I have clamps. I have clamps. Right. Okay. okay so why wouldn't a, cl a clamp wouldn't hold it? They do, but they don't. Because with the what moving the of the machine, it still wiggles because it's such a small area to, to contact. Got you. Um, so I literally sit on my couch and I put my feet on my table and I stabilize the machine as I'm winding. <laughs> it's a whole process. Yeah. Well, that's like people who use, um, is it, are they called skips? Is that right? The thing, the things that come out, there's another name for it. You put your hank on there so you can oh, do it until Swift. Off. Swift. Okay. So we didn't grow up using those. We were the Swifts. Yes. The children. Yes. We had to sit there like this. Yes. And not move because we get in trouble, man. <laughs> you, tangle, you tangled that yarn. You were in trouble. Yeah. Oh my God. Yes. If you moved, <sighs> nobody wanted a job. We hear, we would hear the yarn basket open and run <laughs> towards the lake. Like, gone. Are you no. jumping in the boat? No, I'm diving in. I'm no. swimming across. I'll be over in the berry patch. Nobody look for me. Uh, Nobody no, wanted that see, job. None I, of us. Whenever I would try to hide, I would go. I would, I would always run out in the woods. Yeah, <laughs> well, we have woods. Lakes. Lakes. We, uh, my, my great grandfather found me sleeping in a tree once. I scared the dickens out of him. <laughs> we had the wonderful job of balling yarn because uh, cake winders weren't a thing at this point. Yeah, I still ball one. But let me tell you, when I bought my cake winder, it was amazing. I I didn't. I've never had one. I just make balls. <laughs> you just like playing with balls is all. I don't. They hurt my shoulders. <laughs> um, well, and after I got the cake winder, I got the dual yarn holder. Um, so I can hold two skeins of yarn as I'm working, and it's it's oh, that's what I have the bag for <laughs> my big black bag. It's got little so grommets. I ball my yarn and I cake my yarn. It depends on how much yarn I have left. Um, however, um. When I first start a project, if I'm just going to open a brand new skein, I always use the ball holder because you can just plop it right down yeah. the middle. Um, if I'm going to use it as a ball, of course, I have a, a, a bowl. Um, yeah, I use the bag for skeins. I, or I, I have, let them free range. I actually have a bowl that's like mm -hmm. a, it's a big serving bowl, and it's a gaudacious turquoise with these god awful art deco cats on them uh-huh it's so ugly it's kind of cute you know what i mean yes yeah and that's my bowl that i usually i throw like two or three balls of yarn in it because it's big enough and yeah. just pull from it from there and it's like whatever i don't have any of the specialty ones if I did, I would have made them myself. I, oh, I found a place where I can throw pots, and I found a place where I can kiln pots here. Um, so once we're demasked, I might start doing that again. I haven't done that in years, though. But I do miss throwing. That was one thing. One of those things I really enjoyed doing. My nan, I had a little ceramic shop up on the mountain where they lived, and she had her own little kiln up there, and just she just did her thing. She I almost it. bought a kiln at the thrift store a couple of years back, but I just didn't know where I'd put it. I, I was going to put it outside and like build a little roof over top of it, but then I thought some neighbor kid is going to figure right. it out. Right. See, and I don't and, have anywhere in my house. My house is too small for all of us. Yeah, I, I mean, absolutely adore my house, but I need more room. Like I need yeah. a studio so I can take all my studio stuff out of my house. So, right. Basically, I need a two-room small house built in my backyard. Yep. You and need a mother room would be a studio for this kind of stuff, for videos and, and tech and that kind of stuff. And the other one 
would be for all my crafting crap. And then the little <laughs> kitchen and dinette in the middle. And a nice porch to sit out and hang out on. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be cute. That's, that's all I want. What's this so big a deal, huh? All right. I would just want to have that. Like, I'm not I'm not asking for that. I just want a tiny house that has a couple of, let's say, like, not tiny house, but like, a, you know, a couple oh. of rooms where I have a studio me? and a crafting room. That's and how I would live. I'd sleep on a couch in the in the yeah. Living, I would put a living area. I don't. I don't know. I, I would make a studio for like my cosplays and everything like that. Obviously, right. and then right. I would, and then um, I would put a bed in either that one in my crafting room or in my in my studio. Yeah, and, just a little single bed. Uh, yeah, or you know. Big enough for me, Mel. <laughs> well, like there was one of these. There was one of these. Uh, it was like uh, it's not pre-made. It comes with all the directions and all the pieces you need, but you have to buy the wood when it comes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it was a two-bedroom, two-bath mini house, small yeah. house. Okay. And I had it on my wish list on Amazon, but they don't sell it anymore. Oh, well, but it was on my wish list, and I asked my neighbor, I said to him, I said, if somebody actually does buy this for me, it wasn't really a lot. It was like $5,000. Oh, which that's is, not if, bad. In, in the grand scheme of things, that ain't much, people, okay? No. Because you got sinks and stuff in there, you know? Yeah. yeah. And, um, <clears throat> but anyway, I said, if, if that does happen, would you build this for me? Because he's, he's like a handyman. He's young, but he's like a handyman. That's what he does. He's like, sure. I said, how much would you charge me? He goes, uh, um, I don't know. I said, well, I could have pizza and beer every day for you. I could do that. But I said see, to him, I said, see this one that has the bathroom, this one over here with the bathroom? He said, don't put the bathroom there. And don't put this wall here so that you have an L shape. It'll make an L shape with the living room. He said, yeah. yeah. And I said, I want a built-in shelving unit here. He's like, what's that for? And I said, that's that's going to be my studio. So I no windows on this side of the house either. It's all going to be lighting. And I need track lighting on a rigor system on the top. He's like, okay, we can do that. He goes, ooh, that takes a lot of money out of it. And I said, I know. I said, and over here in the kitchen, I, you don't need all that kitchen. You just need this, 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 and this. Because it's just a little kitchenette for like, you know, break time and a little yeah. bar. That's all you need. It's a little little sink, a little dishwasher. Just <laughs> it's supposed to help break stuff up actually this is the acid and stuff in it your boss told you to drink beer today but the carbs would just kill your blood sugar levels um but and i said then the master bedroom you just leave that there and that's got the bathroom and the shower and stuff but i said but i need a garden tub with a bay window looking onto the garden he goes, okay, that just put your price up a little bit. I said, I don't care. I need a garden tub because that is a Vixie sized tub. It needs to be there. So I could take bubble baths. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, and I'm the one who's content with going out and buying two storage sheds and smacking them right next to each other. That's basically uh, what it is. Kendra does some one amazing stuff with that kind of stuff. Ago. Let me tell you, she's amazing. It was a like. Lot the sheds were like $900, I think. And yeah. I walked in and Justin was like, look, it's just tall enough for you. And you can put all your yarn in here. And I was like, no, we can put you in here. <laughs> look, you fit. Kendra was live the other day on Likey. It was like three days ago. And she was, I'm like, what are you doing? She's like, uh, I got some scrap wood. And I'm putting together a makeup table. Yeah. I've contemplated. I'm watching her. And she's her. like, Literally it's it's like this modern hours. feel to it. it. It like comes out, it comes back in. It's like, oh my God. I can't well, believe people don't pay you to do this. She goes, neither do I. <laughs> people She's around like, here scrap, is like they give away free wood. pallets all the time. Right. And I told Justin, I need a whole bunch of pallets. And he said, why? I was like, because I want to build a table out of it. If I if somebody why? would teach me woodworking, I could probably make a lot of No, good. baby, like, I don't need to be trying. I got oh, two okay, books. So this is where you put the nail. <laughs> yeah. It's the part, be the part about okay. woodworking that I can't do is buy the tools. There's some once you start getting into it, it's yeah, it gets really, really intricate, really expensive. Yeah. Justin, um, his sister still has the shelving units that he made in high school. 
Yeah. My boss told me to drink beer today. Oh my God. Why? That's what I was talking about. It would break up the calcium deposits with the acid. But the problem yeah. is the carbohydrates would throw her sugar. I know. Yeah. It's like they used to tell me to drink beer to make milk. Yeah. And I said, I will drink a Guinness and then wait. It did work, but I was always worried. See, and the only way that beer. I like Guinness is if you drop a, a shot of Irish whiskey and just a little bit of Bailey's on top. Oh, that's Irish car bomb, baby. Give I know. It to me I don't any like day. Them. I'll take the Love shot it. of whiskey and then drink whiskey in this, so. You're almost I used there. to hang out with a couple Irish boys. They were twins. Uh-huh. And um, it was so funny because people were like, I can't tell them apart. I'm like, the older one is almost a foot taller than the younger one. <laughs> and they don't look alike. For one of their the birthdays, one though, we went drinking around Ireland. So we went down to the pub. Um, O'Malley. Uh, no. Mega O'Malley's. Mm -hmm. We sat down. And we all ordered Guinness. And uh, they start bringing us shots from the different regions, right? And I'm drinking. Yeah. And, and there's this new guy that I didn't know. And he looked over at me as, are you okay? And I said, I'm fine. Are you okay? And they, the older one just started laughing. He's like, uh, don't even think you're going to drink her under the table. <laughs> don't even think. Don't He's do like, it. don't start because she will finish. <laughs> and <you're> not... <laughs> but we went around the table and I'm like, okay, I'll be right back. Good. So I went, I came back and I came back and everybody's looking at me as I walk in. I'm like, what? What? So there is a shot glass in front of my seat with this very pale gold colored stuff in it. It looks almost like piss. Mm -hmm. Like, what is this? And they're like, you tell us what that is. So I smelled it, shot it back, tipped it over, tapped it twice. I said, first off, I'd like to announce that the girl at the table drank all you motherfuckers under the table. Second, whoever thought putting Cuddy in front of me was a good idea should be hauled away to prison. That is the worst gut rot whiskey ever. Ugh. Just not good. But I did drink it because it was a birthday. That was the game we were playing. And I won. <laughs> and I had a gin gimlet after. Woo! And I still walked home. There you go. There you go. I drink like a guy. I can't help it. And I stopped drinking once I feel like I'm getting drunk. So I'm yeah, like, oh, no, I'm, I'm like, oh no. When I feel like I'm getting too to the point where I can't anymore because I flacked out before. And let me tell you, I've never it's not out. fun because sometimes I will disappear for weeks on end if oh, I so black no. out. No. So no, we don't do that no more. Yeah, I, I don't understand that. I, I'm one of those people like, oh, I'm done. And they're like, are you serious? And I'm like, yeah. I know when I'm done, I'm done. Well, I have there an hour I drink until my body's finally like, no, you're done. Whether it's forcibly oh, no. or... Mm. I'm too much of a control freak. I cannot do that. I can't even mm -hmm. fathom that. Once it starts well, getting to the point where I don't think I can take more than two steps, I am so freaking done and I we're not moving. I told you the story about how I ended up in the bathtub, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but, and I've never had a hangover. No. I've only ever, okay, the only kind of and hangovers I used to drink I've with gay had. men, so let me tell you, it could have happened. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the only hangovers I've ever had Bullshit. were sympathy hangovers for other people who were drinking when I was sober. I laugh at people when they're drinking when I'm sober. I'm like, drink your water. Oh. What? Oh, putting doll to bed. Drink your water, take your Tylenol. No. Hmm. Drink your water and take your Tylenol. No. Don't you're going to you're gonna be sick in the morning. I don't need this bad energy. Go to bed. <laughs> no. Oh, oh, my God. That That is just always the best thing, putting me to bed. I'm a bitch. I had to pull off a TikTok twice one night. <laughs> <laughs> no, you were supposed to be going to bed. Get back in here. Get off this. 
channel. I don't listen. Like, turn your phone off. You can't do that. Watch me. <laughs> what? You can't do that. It's mine. <laughs> watch me. I can do it from here. <laughs> I'll lock you out. Locks out a phone. Excuse me. <laughs> don't, don't make me pull it. I will. I only do it for your own good. I'd never do it to be mean. Well, this is how far I got, which is actually really, really far. Because that means great. I'm almost done with it. I finished it. that one and I started another one. This is actually two blues, but you can't I tell. just got to stuff this little guy, which means I actually have to get stuffing out because I don't have any more yarn left to stuff in there. And then I have to sew them on and he will be on his way to his new home. Oh, I Sweet think I'm Sweet home Alabama. I mean, no, I don't I mean, believe he's going to Alabama. She don't remember what state he's going to, but it is not Alabama. <laughs> All right. Tomorrow is Friday. Yes, I mean, about it for a second. That's kind of scary. Um, so we have uh, makeup table at four and yep. after dark at eight. Be there, be square. I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to not be a rectangle tomorrow. I'm going to try to be here for the makeup table. No, I'm, I'm not making try. promises. Uh, however, if I don't see you guys tomorrow, I will absolutely see you guys on Sunday. Sunday morning. Yeah, yes. Sunday. Sunday, Sunday. What? I'm sorry. What is what? What? I'm sorry. What's on Sunday? Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Coffee talk at the dollhouse on Planet <gasps> Flipside. I actually, it's actually funny because I, I recorded me saying, welcome to dollhouse. Because I always like trip up and everything like that. So now I'm going to forcibly make Vixie make an intro, about another intro. I can add it. Oh. Or add it to the one that's already there. Saying, I, hey. You wouldn't even have, you don't even have to intro because you say, good morning at the well, end anyway. You want me to tell you a quick funny story? Yes. I tried to get this girl to do multiple scripts for me and she never does it. She forgets all the time. So what do I do? I go through her videos and cut up a whole bunch of stuff to make the words that I want. And after she sees it and hears it, she's like, well, let me just record that for you real quick. <laughs> <laughs> and as hubby walks in, I said, guess what I just got? I got the audio I've been asking for for three months. Oops. He's like, you're bad. <laughs> I'm like, I'll get it one way or another, goddammit. it. Well, I mean, hey, the audio was shitty. It's one, what? It's like, wait a minute. Oh no, no, no! I don't like it. Oh, I don't I like. Knew that was gonna it. happen. Oh god, I don't like that at all. <laughs> no, Here, how bad? Vixie, that makes me look bad. I don't like it. <laughs> all right, Sherry, you have any parting words of wisdom for tonight? Thank you for being here, everybody. Just everybody. thank you for being here. Thank you for surviving and thank you for staying strong. Uh, thank you for being here when we need you and we are always absolutely here for you. As always, love your fellow human, even if they are stupid and happy Pride Month. Happy, happy Pride. Pride Month! You guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us today. I really, really appreciated it. I really did. Um, if you want to support us in everything that we do, not only go into the description link below and look for Planet Flipside Marketplace and get some of the merchandise that's there, but also go to the Dollhouse link and also go spend money over at Kendra's house. And if you use the coupon code Vixie Squad, all one word lowercase, you'll get 10% off. Hmm. So do that. It's always good to know people, especially mm -hmm. people like us. <laughs> There's also a link to, oh, I never get her name right. Cherry's friend who does acrylic stuff, Miss Hike Creations. Miss Hike Creations. Okay. She's some really neat stuff. She did plugs for cherry acrylic plugs with little cherries on them. It's so oh. I'm sorry, I keep yawning. I apologize. I'm. Right. I, I, I'm. Uh, I think it's time for us to go now. Say goodbye. Bye, everybody. Have a bye, good day. Bye, everybody. See you tomorrow. Love you. Bye.
Something's telling me. 